the difference in another Monday art session and this week we are working on watercolor postcard. It's a really nice project because you can use your own artwork later on as a postcard and maybe post to your friend or whoever you decide to, but you can also use it as a card to put at your desk or maybe in the kitchen. We're working with watercolors, wet and wet, creating like a night kind of scene or night sky, but again Maybe you want to work with different colors, different combinations, feel free to do it your own way. I'm going to guide you through the basic techniques of wet on wet and creating those beautiful layers and splashes on the top. And then you can also stick um, a phrase from the magazine that's optional. And by the end of the session, you should have that lovely card. Okay, good to see you on social media. If you could post your artwork, that would be great and have fun. Bye bye. All right, so let me show you what you need for this project. So of course you need your watercolors and brush. You need plenty of water. You need your paper. Ideally, if you have masking tape, tape it up to the piece of paper or your table, if you work on table that you can afford to get wet, um, because that will create that edge, a little nice, white edge or frame but if you don't have masking tape don't worry just do it on a full uh, page so i this one i made kind of size of a uh, postcard already you need some tissue of course um for the final stage and the acrylic paint and the brush because we'll be doing some splatters where the piece is finished and dry that's the final um final touch uh, now you can use any paint i'm using white could be black for the contrast it depends what colors you use and also i cut out um phrase from the magazine which i'm going to just nicely cut out in a small white rectangle shape and then glue on to the finished piece so it looks more like a postcard with a phrase on it Okay, so the, the way we do it, we are going to work wet and wet. So I'm going to wet the paper and I'm going to be working from the edges towards the center, applying dark colors to the edges, bringing them to the center, drying the, that layer, and then going with another layer of slightly darker colors. And now I'm planning to do three layers every time making um, colors a bit darker. Okay. So I'm aiming for more like a night scene. So I'm wetting my paper first. With your watercolors, just make sure you use them wet as well. So plenty of paint into a uh, water into the paint before you start. So I'm gonna start with some blue. And I'm just basically dropping that color, as you can see, close to the edges. It's kind of doing it, spreading itself because the paper is wet. And then I'm going to just add more water to my paint uh, brush, sorry. And I'm going to bring that a bit closer. Now I'm going to go with second color, pinkish. And just drop that again into the paint and into the paper where I had to water. And I'm going to water my brush again. Just bring that closer. Water my brush again. And just bring those colors to the middle. Okay. Now I'm looking at the edges and I'm deciding I need a bit more blue there. But I'm just going with teal blue for a bit more interesting colors combination. It's a first layer. So don't worry about that too much. What it looks like now. Remember, watercolor, when it's dry, it is going to look lighter, okay? This is your first layer, you'll be covering that layer partially because the beauty of watercolor is working in layers. So, the darker from corners, bringing that color to the middle, wetting your brush, bringing the color. I think I've got more pink here. That creates a bit like um, purple. You could also go with the actual purple. Let me just find purple. Let's go for some purple here. It's very dark, but again, it will be lighter. So I'm just gonna drop this here. And then this one, I'm just gonna add water so it travels a bit more here. 
this is my first layer. I'm gonna dry it with a hair dryer. A uh, hair dryer, sorry. I'm not very good with my English today. Um, and then I go with second layer. When I come back with this dry, you will see it's much lighter. So don't be afraid of using dark colors with watercolors. Bear in mind, they will be lighter. So let me dry it and I come back to you. Okay, so I'm back. You can tell now this is much lighter. I also picked up some of the paint with a tissue here from the middle. So this is something if you want a bit lighter as you start drying, you can do that. Just when you dry, just dab your paper and pick it up. So I'm going now and repeating the process, just wetting it first, wetting the paper again. It's quite quick movement, so I don't want to paint to move too much because every time I touch paper with water, the existing paint will move slightly. And I'm going with my blue again. And I'm picking up darker, different shades of blue that are meant to be darker. But look like that. yes it is again starting from the corners bringing that to the middle I'm going to introduce the dark purple I had here before this is really dark don't be afraid like I said and I'm now gonna go with black the corners wetting my paint and now I won't come back to the pink I had in the first layer now just dropping that pink you can you can tell probably I work quite fast because I want those colors to blend when the paint and paper are still wet now I'm just gonna wet my brush it doesn't have any paint on it and I'm just dragging those Corners, paint from the corners to the middle. Absolutely love how this is blending. Okay, and just dropping some water as well. This is another magic trick. Drop some water. Okay. Splatters of water or just go with your brush like that. Now, okay, another one. Now, when I dry it with um, her um, dryer, remember, the air may be moving the paint so you may want to let it dry naturally or you may decide you want to just go with the flow and allow that paint to move I'm just noticing I can still see that teal here so I'm gonna introduce it into this area again okay here we go so and when that layer is dry I'm gonna repeat the process and working from the corners with even darker paint, but bear in mind this will look lighter when it's dry. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to dry this layer, go with another layer, exactly the same process, working from the corners, make sure it's fully dry, and then I will go on top of that with acrylic paint. So let me dry it and then show you how you work with acrylic paint on top of that. So it is about working from the center, from the corners, from dark colors to lighter colors, um, towards the center and then every layer you make darker then drying um, paper between the layers and just also adding paint adding water as you go along to make sure those watercolors move around okay so this is my piece three four layers and now i just want to show you how to work with acrylic paint choose the color you want i have a bit of white here and I'm just mixing that with plenty of clean water. So just make sure you don't go into that with your watercolor, dirty water. And I'm just gonna do a few splatters. Okay, thinking maybe from the corners, more water. The closer I am doing that to the page, um, the smaller are the dots. Also depends how much pressure you put on, on the, your paintbrush okay i just feel like something bigger here right i am happy with that i'm gonna dry it cut out my phrase into nice white rectangle shape glue it and then take the masking tape off so let me dry it, 
take the masking tape off and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the card and I just wanted to show you what it looks like and also what didn't work because you know, it's important to work with, to do uh, something about things that didn't work. So unfortunately my masking tape didn't fully protect it from watercolor at the edges and watercolor leaked into the corners. So I just added um, water and kind of, you know, blended that with, with a wet um, tissue. There's nothing, you know, more I can do. I could cut it out now if I wanted and glue to another white frame. Uh, another piece of paper that would create that white frame, but I can't really be bothered to do that. I'm okay with that. Um, I glued the um, phrase from a magazine and went with a black pen around it. So here we go. That's the postcard and you can post that to your friend.